I'm making this video in response to a lot of people who are always saying that you can't worry about what people think, right? In fact, I was thinking about what made me think about this was like my psychologist, right, was telling me, you know, about taking taking on other people's issues and stuff, right? Which and he's right about that. But see, this is the thing. In order to not care about what people think, you have to be gener generally accepted in the first place. You know what I mean? There are some people, man, who just who just got it like that. You know, to where it's like, you know, people just like them. They favor them, man. And because they like them unconditionally, for the most part, you know, they it, it gives them the freedom to be themselves. You know, I, I had a stepbrother who was like that, man. Um, you know, I always thought he was a good-looking guy, don't get me wrong, or whatever, right? But the way women acted about him was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this cat treated women like crap, man. <laughs> this cat, this cat, man, this cat, this cat had a bad temper, everything. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't care about how, I mean, he, he would, he would like wear whatever he wanted to wear, do whatever he wanted to do. And the women loved him. Dudes just wanted to hang with him, even though, my, even though, even though he, he had an awful temper, man. He had a bad temper, man. He'd be bullying his friends or whatever, and guess what? They wanted to hang with him. You know what I mean? And then you get cats like me. You know what I'm saying? Nice guy. You know, you know, um, but yet I've been mistreated, put down a million times, called ugly, all type of stuff, man. And what I've realized is that the only time you can care about the only time you have the freedom to not care about what people think, man, is when you're generally accepted in the first place. Because whether people want to admit it or not, everybody cares about what people think. Everybody does. And you know why? Because what people think, man, their perception of you affects you. You know what I'm saying? If women don't find you attractive, then guess what? You're going to be alone. Regardless of, of, what, you, of what you think about yourself. If people don't like to, don't like you for for whatever reason, you can't get a job, or you can't get that loan, or or anything else, because you know they don't. It's not a bunch of, uh, that they don't like. You know what I'm saying? And all my life, man, people have never given me a chance to not care about what they thought. Because I'm telling you, I've been criticized my entire life, man. I remember one time, man, um, when I was um, in high school, man, when I was younger, man, I used to have, it's like Nappy Fro, you know what I'm saying, that I used to, I used to love to death. You know what I'm I used to love my little afro, man. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? I loved it. You know what I mean? And yet, every day I went to school, every day, I'd hear some black men say, he need a haircut. He need a haircut. I mean, every day it was the same thing every freaking day. He need a haircut. But yeah, I would see other men who had the same hairstyle and women didn't say a word to them or about them. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I've had so many issues with, with, with self-esteem and self-confidence is because I've been criticized heavily my entire life. My entire life has been criticism, man. You know, I, I think about it, I didn't even ask for the criticism. I'm so crazy about it. I didn't even ask for it. They come to me and just saying stuff, man. So, so I remember one time, some man, um, when I was at college, man, some woman said, came up to me and said, "As you look better with your hat on." Listen to this junk. I mean, I mean, she says it's, it's that to me. Whatever. I didn't even ask for her opinion. I've had friends who cut me off because I took my hat off. I mean, I mean, I'm serious, man. I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, and people who abandon you because you ain't what they thought you was going to be. Or because you live, live to, to their expectations. That's how I mean my entire life, man. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing, it's like, and we, and we try to actually like, stay true to yourself, man. The only thing it leads you to, man, is being, is, is freaking alienated. Isolated or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's why I laugh when people talk about they don't care about what people think because they're lying. 
if black women didn't care about what, what people thought, then guess what? They would, they would go perm on their hair every day. Perm on their hair and this and that and, and getting all depressed because they ain't the standard of beauty and uh, Austin and everything, whatever, right? But they, but they claim not to care about what people think. And, and, was, and, and, and with them, it's ironic because black women are some of the most critical group of black women are the most critical group of people that I've ever seen. When it comes to other people's looks, black women have no mercy. Especially when you're a black man. They have no mercy, man. None. But yet they want mercy from society for how they look. And their issues with their hair and skin and this and that and everything or whatever, right? The thing about it is, see, I've been forced to care about what, what, what people thought. I've been forced to, not because I wanted to. You keep seeing people always like, leave you by yourself, abandon you all the time and stuff, whatever. When you have to stay true to yourself, this and that, whatever, and, and, and you basically isolated and, and feel alienated as a result of it, you're forced to make and reevaluate yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I laugh when, when people say, man, that care about what, what people think. People say, man, they, they're, generally, they're, generally, they're generally accepted anyway. They've already seen it and people like them regardless. So therefore, they don't care about so if they know that whatever they do, they're going to have friends, they're going to have this and that or whatever. But everybody ain't got it like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I should say that because I'm sick and tired of hearing that stuff. Don't care what, what, what people think, this and that whatever. I don't want to. I never did. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, that's what I say about that. And one more thing I want to say is this. If you don't find somebody that you appeal to, whether it's friendships or relationships or whatever, they're going to leave you. They're going to abandon you, man. Um, if you, It's like people always say it's that, well, but people want to be pleased. Okay? You know, I've had I've had happened 20 times throughout my life. You know, it's all good, man, as long as you what they want you to be. But they find one, one discrepancy about you or this or that. They would abandon you, man, without a second thought. It's happening to me with friends and everything else, man. You know, um, like for instance, man, it was just this, this, this old, this old dude, right? That why were they living at my apartments and stuff, right? Um, this dude was a was a was a nice guy. I even prayed with this dude before. Prayed with this guy before, right? And everything was all good, but but when this same cat saw me without my hat on, this cat stopped talking to me. This cat basically ill me. I'm like I'm like what? You know what I'm saying? And oh dude, what do you care about my my looks for? I mean, this this issue or whatever. You know what I'm saying? All type of stuff. And people, man, will will alienate you for not being with. For, for you not being what they want you to be. That's what I've learned. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've learned. But, these same, but, but the same people who will alienate you want to be accepted themselves. They want, they want you to accept them unconditionally. But they don't hold the same, um, the same um, standards for you. You know what I'm saying? They don't hold you in the same regard. They have a limit, or they have this and that, whatever. You know, what I'm saying? that's what I've seen. What, what I'm, everybody I met my entire life. That's all I say about that.